Hey guys, I'm here to do my December wrap up. I know it's been a really long time since I've talked to you guys. Um, my boyfriend actually went out of town, so I wasn't staying at my house. I was with my friends for two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. And then our bathroom at our apartment is being remodeled, so we've been staying with my uh, boyfriend's parents' family for the past like two weeks. And so it's just been like, five weeks or so of not being able to be in my house and film but we are finally back and so I'm finally able to catch up on all my filming I'm very behind on like December end of the year videos so I'm gonna have to catch up on those so first was my December wrap-up I just wanted to catch everyone up because I really like going back and watching my videos of these anyway to recap books for myself and I hope you guys enjoy it too book one and two in the Kalila princess series this was really cute. I hauled it last month and it's just a series that has a little manga character mixed with the like Disney princess world. In the first book she meets up with Snow White. There's no Cinderella in it so I don't know why like Cinderella is on the cover of this one but she meets up with Snow White and it's the story of how her friend goes missing and this hot prince from this distant land comes and helps go like a mystery to help save her friend and then the second one she gets sucked into like a little mermaid aerial world and it's so cute and I really like it. Um, it's not like anything amazing, but it's just a really cute thing if you like Disney princesses and manga cute little love stories, you'd enjoy this. Then I picked up Archie Volume 1. Um, this is the new style art and it's a bunch of different artists and storytellers and such. I actually enjoyed it a lot, but I've grown up reading Archie, loving Archie. The artwork didn't really bother me that it changed up. There were some I definitely liked more than others. I'm not sure whose was whose. I don't think it described who did whose. It might have. Um, no, I don't think it did. So, um, I mean, I liked different... I liked some more than others, but I still really liked the story. It's just the basic um, Archie plotline of Ronnie or Veronica coming into town and him liking her over Betty a little bit, but in this one, him and Betty had been dating forever and, like, had broken up and it was a big argument and such, but it's still, like, the basic Archie plotline. Nothing amazing, nothing really new, but I'm still gonna pick up this series if they keep doing it in this new style art because I am a forever Archie fan. Then I picked up Crooked Kingdoms by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the Six of Crows series, I guess, and I loved it a lot. I think I liked Six of Crows more, but it's still a good story. Um, it's just a continuation of Six of Crows. Some sad stuff happens, some happy stuff happens. You know, you can't really go into a second book if you haven't read the first book, but I don't know, it was good. I would totally reread this series, keep this series, but I think I'll forever dislike the first one more, even though this is still such a good book. Then on audiobook, I actually listened to Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is the third time I've read this book. I read it twice before, and then I listened to it on audiobook because I was just really busy at work, and I can listen to audiobooks a the few hours before people show up at my work because I'm there to, like, get stuff ready and no one else is there, so I can listen to, like, audiobooks or music or such for a few hours. So for, like, two days, I listened to Fangirl, and it was just really good listening to it as well as reading. I think, like, the story doesn't get old. I love it. It's one of my favorite contemporaries I've ever read. It's one of those that when you're, like, in a reading slump, like I am right now, I'm just like, what should I pick up? And I'm like, oh, Fangirl. So that's why instead of listening to like a new audiobook, I saw that Fangirl was available at my library and I just picked it up and I loved it and it's just so good. It's just such a good contemporary. It's about a girl who goes off to college for the first time and sh her twin sister doesn't want a room with her. She's her own person. So it's just her kind of swept into college, swept into like growing up while she writes, um, it's called Simon Snow fan fiction, and it's kind of like Harry Potter fan fiction. So, like, snippets of her fan fiction are in it as well. And, I don't know, it's just such a good contemporary. I think every, like, freshman 
type age person so should read it. If you love Harry Potter, you should read it. If you just love contemporary love stories, you should read it. It's just super good. Then I read Spindle by Shauna Slayton. I actually super enjoyed this a lot. It was really good. It's kind of a um, Sleeping Beauty retelling mixed with like Rumpelstiltskin a little bit, but it's about a girl who works in like a spindle mill back in the day and her. You kind of learn throughout the book that there is magic and fairies involved and those kind of things aren't gone from the world. You know, they've heard stories about them but they always thought they were fake. But it's actually like really in their world. And it's just about a girl who works as a spindle mill and meets a peddler who gives her the spindle. She brings it to the mill she works at and like one by one all the girls at the mill are getting sick. They're falling asleep in this like sleeping curse and she hasn't been affected though. So it's just kind of like what is making them sick? Is this is this magic? Like, what's going on? And I don't know. I thought it was really good. I almost gave it five stars. I think it's a really good retelling. I thought this was what was going to be in one of the retelling boxes for Owl Crate, so I was, like, super excited. But it wasn't this one. It was, like, Vasa in the Night, which I didn't really enjoy. So I had wished it had been this one. But it was super good. I highly recommend it. It's a really good Sleeping Beauty retelling. Then this month I picked up Zack and Mia by AJ Betts. I actually really enjoyed this too. It's kind of like A Fault in Our Stars. It's about two kids that have cancer. They meet each other in the hospital and Zack is supposed to be like re be on remission soon. He's supposed to leave but he just keeps getting sick. And Mia has, um, I can't remember what it's called but it's like cancer of the leg like how Augustus has in The Fault in Our Stars. So Zack is like pretty jealous of her because he thinks that's the most common form of cancer, like the most treatable, so he's jealous that she's there complaining about her life and stuff when she'll be okay and he doesn't think he'll get better and such, but it's a really good like friendship kind of love story and I just really liked it. I almost gave it five stars as well. I would totally keep it and reread it. I just think it was a really good friendship story. And finally this month I reread um, The Eye of Minds and The Rule of Thoughts both by James Dashner. I wanted to read this whole series but I didn't get to the third book in December. I read these both back in 2015 I believe. This one might have been 2016. But I really liked The Eye of Minds. This one is a like virtual reality story. It's about a boy who has two friends and him. All they go into this place called The Deep and it's like a virtual reality gaming system. But there's this guy who's like hacking The Deep and killing people in it and they get hired by like the creators of The Deep because they're such good like hackers to go in and like try to get rid of the virus guy who it's a super good exciting um video game type book and then I know I read this one like a year or two ago and I couldn't remember it I know I rated it like three stars and I went back and actually watched my wrap up on it and all I really said was that like it wasn't very video gamey and so I didn't like it this one isn't the same as the first one at all it's not like in the video game world or anything it's him it's the main character from the book, first book in the real world meeting up with his friends in the real world and them getting together to try to like solve how to get back into the deep and like defeat the bad guy. So it is kind of boring compared to the first one but rereading them back to back I actually really liked the second one too. Yeah guys these are the books I read in December. What are some books you read recently? You should let me know below so I can add more books to my reading pile. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!